everyone! Welcome back to my channel, Pinoy Life in La La Land! This is your friendly host, Ren Luna. You taking your vaccine? No, I will not be getting one. Uh, okay, pro vaccine, anti vaccine. Pro. Pro vaccine. Oh, yeah, that's. Uh, 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 it's foreign. First of all, it's foreign. It's, uh, it's not um, even approved by the FDA. So, meaning to say, there's a lot of studies that needs to be considered. Oh, yeah, a lot of studies need to be done. Yeah. Hello, everyone. In this vlog, like what I promised to you, I'm going to showcase or present to you the sentiments of those people who are anti vaccine and those who are for or pro vaccine or pro COVID vaccine. So. But look, let, let, me, let me add this. The FDA can't even get our food labor, labels correctly. So, what makes, what makes me think that. That's a good argument. That they're going to label it correctly. That's a good argument. There are many countries around the world who have rolled out not just one type of uh, COVID vaccines, but actually they have rolled out two or more, two or more types of COVID-19 vaccines for their citizens. Like here in the United States, they have rolled out three types of vaccines already, like Moderna, Pfizer, and vaccines from Johnson & Johnson that they have administered or given out to millions and millions of people. As of this time, there are over 100 million or over 100 million doses of COVID vaccines have given out to their citizens. This is such a great success to those nations who have great and vast resources to or in the development of vaccines to the actual implementation or administration of the vaccine to their citizens. This is really a success for them. But Despite of the success, there are still those people who are not considering not considering to get vaccinated for some reason. And let's have the feelings and sentiments of those who are anti-vaccines and those who are pro-vaccines. Let's find out the reasons of those two groups of people. So, did you get your vaccine already? Okay, so pro vaccine or anti vaccine? Okay, so pro vaccine. Pro vaccine. So, have you been vaccinated? Not yet. Not yet? Oh, really? Mm -hmm. That's good. Wow, okay, pro vaccine, anti vaccine? Pro. Pro vaccine. Why? So I can go back to the Philippines. Oh my goodness, okay, so when is, no, when is your expecting to get vaccinated? Uh, as soon as possible, I don't know. Uh, I'm still waiting. So, how's your vaccine? Did you get vaccinated? Yes. Oh, wow. Done. So you're done? Yes, first and second. Okay. Pfizer. Did you get what? Pfizer. Pfizer. So you are really pro-vaccine? Yes, definitely. Why? Yes, there are those people whose understanding, whose opinion and belief in COVID-19 vaccines fall into what we call conspiracy theory. So, you are really anti-vaccine? Yes. I think it was way too, too fast. It was Correct, that's right. But you know what? The, okay, what is, what is the reason why it's being advised to use for, you know, to... To, they, would, they would have rushed it and put it out there in, 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 in back to normal, but uh, we're, we're people are paying for it. We're paying for it, you know? Uh, 
Oh. How's your COVID test? Okay. <laughs> okay, no, no, no. No side effect? Uh, Are you sure? Second dose? Mm. Yes. After a year, you're gonna have your fang coming out. <laughs> or you're gonna have a third boob. <laughs> <laughs> And there are those people who are for vaccination just for mere compliance. I don't even take the flu shot. Okay, so you know, the vaccine is not... The even the flu shot? Um, you never had? No, never had taken the flu shot. <laughs> but you're, so you have not vaccinated yet? I haven't been vaccinated, but I will get vaccinated if it's required to go back to work. Okay. And there are those who do not believe or who lost their trust in their government at all. That's why COVID vaccination is not really for them. You taking your vaccine? No, and I will not be getting one. Why? What is your argument about it? I don't trust the government and I don't trust anybody. So But look, let, let me let me add this. The FDA can't even get our food label, labels correctly. So <laughs> that's a good argument. They're going to label it correctly. That's a good argument. And I'm a very, I'm not saying I'm anti government, I just don't trust them. Just because I know the government has history with testing on its own people. Yeah, yeah, that's so true. I mean, anybody can do it. Okay, that's good. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to take it. No, not on my kids. Okay, no. no, they're not getting any vaccine at no, all? No, not at all. No. I have a son, he's a state trooper. He turned it down. Mm -hmm. He didn't want to take it. Uh, he's a state trooper in Louisiana. Mm -hmm. And he didn't want to take it. And I asked him why, for the same reason. He goes, I don't know what they're putting in me. But whatever the reason in their objection or acceptance of the COVID vaccines, safety of everyone should be the top priority safety of everyone should be considered. COVID vaccines may not be the perfect to cure the virus and to fight against the disease, but it has been proven that the known potential benefits outweighs the known potential risk of the vaccines. Okay, you're all set. That's it. That's the first dose. Here's your card. Here you yeah. go. Okay, good. Whatever our opinion, our perception or our understanding about the vaccines what matters most nowadays is the safety and protection of our own health at the same time the health of others thank you this is my first dose right yeah this is so first i'm dose. taking moderna or oh, i took moderna i'm gonna take moderna again the next yes okay in two weeks time right four weeks Oh, in four weeks? Why is in four weeks? This one is four weeks, the other one is three weeks. Ah, oh, okay. I thought like in two weeks' time. No, this one is four weeks. Oh, okay. That's okay. That's <laughs> good. Great. Thank you. No problem. Thank you. Let us always remember, life is precious. Let's be safe and keep safe all the time. Things have gotten more serious. Anti-vaxxers aren't on the fringe. In the past two months, they've been a vocal presence of protests across the U.S. And in May, polling found that one in four Americans may refuse a coronavirus vaccine. Anti-vaxxers. I'd heard loud protests, the signs, the shouting. Until fairly recently, the anti-vax movement was sidelined and really treated as
Yeah, okay, what can you say again to the rest of the world? I want you guys to get vaccinated. It's for your own good, it's for everybody. Wow, that's it. <laughs> and sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think the side effect of this? Uh, I heard from, uh, from other people that mm -hmm. you get I want a success. Oh, really? Oh, okay. <laughs> ano yan? <laughs> oh my goodness, kaya mo ba yan? Hindi. Hindi, ano. So, how's your... How's your sagging? <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> no, how's the vaccine? <laughs> Masarap. You got your... <laughs> what is yours? Pfizer or Moderna? Pfizer. Ano yung side effect? Sakit ang ulo, body aches, mm -hmm. tapos konting lagnat yun. Okay, say hi to the Filipino people. Here Hello, we go. Cebu. Hello, Cebu. Cool. Ano, ano sa palagay mo? Effective ang mag, magiging effective ang vaccine sa'yo? Yes, sir. Oo. Oh, yeah. Doon na ka? Oh, bilib na bilib ka ba? Bilib ako doon. Basta ako, magpapaksin ako. Safety ako, yun ang gusto ko. Ah, yun ang wow, that's good. Maniwala doon. So, ready ka na? Ang Diyos ang nakakalap Wow! Ready na ako. April 1. April 1 ang schedule mo? Okay. Moderna, Pfizer? Pfizer. Pfizer? Okay. Alright! Shout out to Mendoza family, to Noni and Rolly Mendoza of Vancouver, Canada. Also, shout out to Il Young and Miles Gargod of Barcelona, Spain. Oh, shout out to Rene Kua of the Guban Pangasinan, Philippines. Thank you for watching. See you again in my next vlog.